So what do you got here? What's this guy? What am I making? Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a little horse, a little mule. Yeah. What's underneath the tape? This? Yeah. Little plastic bags. See, like these little bags, yeah, I feed my birds out of bread. Uh -huh. I just get a bunch of them and tie them up and make a little stuff out of them. Well, they kind of look like one in a horse, don't it? Mm -hmm. A little meal, rather. Oh, this is another one. Yeah, that's going to be more. This is oh, hold that up. Let me see. That's without all the tape. Yeah. This is a fish. Do you ever catch fish that you can eat? Oh, God, yeah. You want to come inside where it's warmer? It's going to get cold out, yeah. Yeah. There you go. When I start a new thing, I never know what it's going to look like. And uh, whatever it looks like, that's what I make it be. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't go out to make a man. I don't go out to make a dog. I don't go out to make, you know, certain things. What is this? That's a little old monkey thing. I just. Yeah. But what's oh, that well, hair? That's, that's some uh, wife's uh, false hair. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Use use what again? Uh, uh, false hair. Yeah. Yeah. So every time they change the style, she'd have to change the Well, hair. you know, they change, you know, these women going to change styles, man, because it's, it's all different styles now. You've got these, I don't know, jerry curls, and then you got these plaits, and I don't know what all you call them, but, uh, but anyway, she was going to throw it away, so I just said, well, I can, I can make something out of that, too, so. Cool. And it's, it's nothing, it's nothing, right now, it's nothing that I can't make something out of. It's just, it's amazing what you have down in you and don't even know it until you start doing it. You know, uh, y years ago when I was younger, I could carve, I could take a knife and carve and make anything. And I could I could paint, well I guess you see where I've been trying to paint. But after I got older, I just quit doing that. And uh, right now, I, I got to doing this and, and it seems like you just can't stop because you don't want to throw that stuff away no more, so. But it's just, it's just, it's just wonderful. Okay, let's talk about where were you born? Manchester, Tennessee. Now you ain't gonna believe this. At nine years old, I was using a horse plan. Plan gardens with nine years old. You were using a horse what? You know how you plow garden with a with a plow? I was plowing gardens and stuff at nine years old. There it was. So so I've been a man for a long time. Like I said, my mother when my mother died. You know, you, I guess I was the man of the house, and my oldest sister, she's 17, I guess she was the lady of the house, but I think we done a good job, none of us got on drugs, alcohol, or nothing, so. And I had a, I don't know what happened to that little woman. I had a little woman sitting in this chair, and she had disappeared, so I put this in there. Let me see that, turn around. Can I see that, turn around? Yeah. You had a little woman in there, huh? Yeah. Now, she had false... She had, she had and she had false curly hair, too, and I don't know where she got to. Are you going to keep making these until... Until my wife made me stop. She, she, she said, I need to quit making it, go. You get where you can't hardly walk, and you can't dust, and you can't... Well, it is dusty, and spider webs and stuff get in here, but we get spray and stuff and spray it, but... She's right. Is she? Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, you can look and see all this stuff here. Yes, sir. Got a whole bunch of stuff. So how long do you think before uh, your wife says you got to stop doing it? <laughs> she, she done not really said it two or three times, but I ain't going to stop till I get ready anyway. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
it is. Cool.